Arithmetic sequences or progressions. When you first work with linear number patterns in previous grades, you were already working with arithmetic sequences. All arithmetic sequences, also known as arithmetic progressions, are sequences in which the difference between any two successive terms is a constant. We say that these sequences have a common difference between terms. Let's look at the terminology and notation used in sequences. Consider the sequence negative 10, negative 6, negative 2, and so on. We refer to the first term of a sequence using the letter A, and the common difference by the letter D. Recall we use TN to refer to a term in the sequence. The subscript N tells us which term we're dealing with. So for the given example T1 refers to term 1. T1 is equal to A. So for the given sequence A is equal to negative 10. General term of an arithmetic sequence. We can derive a formula to find any term in an arithmetic sequence. Term 1 is equal to A. Term 2 is equal to term 1 plus D, which equals A plus 1D. Term 3 is equal to term 2 plus D, which is equal to A plus D plus D, which equals A plus 2D. This pattern continues in the same way. So term 20 will be term 19 plus D, which is equal to A plus 18D plus D, which is equal to A plus 19D. We notice that in each term the formula consists of A plus a multiple of D, where the multiple is always one less than the subscript N corresponding to the position of the term. This can be generalized to Tn is equal to A plus, the result of N minus 1 multiplied by D, where N is the number describing the position of the term, which is always a natural number. Test for an arithmetic sequence. To test if a sequence is arithmetic, we need to show that there is a common or constant difference between successive terms. To find the constant difference d in a sequence, we calculate term 2 minus term 1 or term 3 minus term 2, or in general, t subscript n plus 1 minus t subscript n. Using the given sequence negative 10, negative 6, negative 2, and so on. We find the term 2 minus term 1 is equal to negative 6 minus negative 10, which is equal to 4. Term 3 minus term 2 is equal to negative 2 minus negative 6, which is equal to 4. Therefore, D is equal to 4. In order to confirm that a sequence is arithmetic, all we need to do is deduce that there is a common difference between terms. In general, the formula for finding the common difference is Tn plus 1 minus Tn. Example 1. Finding a term in an arithmetic sequence. Find the twelfth term of the sequence negative 10, negative 6, negative 2, and so on. Solution. We note A is equal to negative 10. Term 2 minus term 1 is equal to negative 6 minus negative 10, which is equal to 4. Term 3 minus term 2 is equal to negative 2 minus negative 6, which is equal to 4. 4 is equal to 4. Remember to always check with two sets of consecutive terms. Use the formula Tn is equal to A plus the result of n minus 1 multiplied by 4. Therefore term 12 is equal to negative 10 plus 12 minus 1 in brackets multiplied by 4 which equals 34. This means the value of the twelfth term is 34. Example 2. Finding the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. Find the general term of the sequence 7, negative 1, negative 9, negative 17, and so on. Solution. A is equal to 7. 
term 2 minus term 1 is equal to negative 1 minus 7, which is negative 8. Term 3 minus term 2 is equal to negative 9 minus negative 1, which is negative 8. Therefore, this sequence is arithmetic and is equal to negative 8. Previously, we saw that the formula for the general term was given by tn equals a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. This formula is used to calculate the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. To generate the nth term formula, all we do is substitute the values for a and d into the general formula. Therefore, tn is equal to 7 plus the result of n minus 1 multiplied by negative 8 which is equal to 7 minus 8n plus 8 after multiplying out. Therefore, the nth term of this sequence is tn is equal to 15 minus 8n. We can verify our general term by checking one of the terms in the given sequence. We know that the fourth term has a value of negative 17. So using the nth term formula to calculate the value of the fourth term, we get term 4 is equal to 15 minus 8 times negative 4, which equals minus 17, which confirms that our nth term formula is correct. Example 3. Determining an arithmetic sequence when given two terms. Determine the arithmetic sequence in which the 6th term is 17 and the 10th term is 33. This is a particularly important example, and the skill used to answer this question is used for other types of sequences as well. When we are given two pieces of information, this usually means in maths that we are going to have to solve simultaneously, especially if we need to find the values of two different variables. Earlier, we noticed that everything in arithmetic sequences hinges on the values of a and d, which is exactly what we need to solve for here. Solution. Using the general formula for arithmetic sequences, tn is equal to a plus the result of n minus 1 multiplied by d. We get term 6 is equal to a plus, in brackets, 6 minus 1, multiplied by d is equal to 17, and term 10 is equal to a, plus, in brackets, 10 minus 1, multiplied by d is equal to 33. Now, we can solve simultaneously using any method of our choice, but it is usually easier to solve by the method of elimination when dealing with a system of two linear equations. All we do is subtract the one equation from the other. Call the first equation a plus 5d is equal to 17, equation 1 in brackets. Below it write a plus 9d is equal to 33. Call this equation 2 in brackets. Equation 1 subtract equation 2 gives a subtract a which eliminates the a. 5d minus 9d, which equals minus 4d, and 17 minus 33, which equals minus 16. The resulting equation is negative 4d is equal to negative 16. Therefore, d is equal to 4. Next, we find the value of a by substituting the value of d into equation 1 or 2. If we use equation 1, a plus 5 times 4 in brackets is equal to 17. Then A is equal to 17 minus 20, which is equal to negative 3. If we used equation 2, A plus 9D equals 33. Then A plus 9 times 4 in brackets equals 33. So A is equal to 33 minus 36, which is, once again, equal to negative 3. Now that we have the values of both a and d, we can find the arithmetic sequence. All we really need to do is generate the first three terms of the sequence. 
start with A and keep adding D to generate the terms of the sequence. Negative 3, add 4, and you get 1. Add 4, get 5, and so on. So the required arithmetic sequence is negative 3, 1, 5, and so on.